Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. Barry Goodgen is the Rural Affairs Secretary, a woman who, from day to day, should be interested in keeping farmers happy, in making sure that the agricultural sector is in a good and healthy state, in fighting for the corner of all the producers of food and other products that comes out of rural Scotland, as well as looking after the countryside, not damaging the rural economy, that kind of thing. And of course, she's doing nothing of the sort. Quite the other way round. She's actually causing more and more problems for rural Scotland. But we wouldn't expect any less. So instead of doing her day job, we have to ask what she actually is doing. And of course, the answer is sticking her big nose into affairs that have got nothing to do with her. She has been moaning about a potential trade agreement between the United States and Great Britain. It's not her job. It's not her remit. And also the fact that this is at the national level, the Great British level, the United Kingdom level, not some regional devolved authority. What's worse, of course, is that during this, she's been making very, very outrageous claims. And it took the UK Trade Secretary down in London to point out that she is, in fact, completely wrong. And she's been handed her arse. How sweet. Let's have a look at this to see once again how wrong the SNP are, and Mary Goodgen really needs to be removed from post. Here goes. So SNP ministers slapped down, I would point again, uh, over American trade grievance as the UK government minister points out evidence proving them wrong. Nobody will be surprised that uh, people, high up people, uh, you know, politicians of the SNP are wrong. Now, they've probably got access, well, we know they've got access to this evidence, but they chose to ignore it and to create this grievance out of a sense of let's push for independence and ignore the reality or the facts. And that's what they've done. The Scottish Government's Rural Affairs Secretary, Mary Goodgen, a woman who is busy destroying Scotland rather than helping and has stuck her nose in, as I say. And the Trade Minister, Richard Lockhead, publicly complained about a lack of collaboration between Westminster and Holyrood over a prospective American trade deal. But the response from Nigel, Nigel Huddleston, who is the Trade Secretary, was not publicised, as this proved them wrong. So, you know, keep the mouth shut about that because we're wrong. But it's got nothing to do with the regional assembly that is Holyrood. This is a national issue that comes out at governmental level between the government of the United Kingdom and the government of the United States. Nobody is talking to some regional assembly, some regional governor who's got no authority to act for international trade. The trade is based on a national level, not a regional level. But they don't like that because they want to pretend that they're important and they're really not. So why, of course, is the big nose going into UK business? Uh, the two SNP ministers were slapped down by a UK government minister after publicly airing grievances about media reports over trade negotiations with the USA. Rural Affairs Secretary Mary Goodchin and Trade Minister Richard Lockhead moaned, of course, about the Scottish government not being involved in these discussions. That's because it's, a tr it's nothing to do with you. Why? I'm not involved in these discussions. You're not involved in these discussions. Of course you're not. It's a national level thing. The pair claimed that they had not been informed about potential deals with America and only found out about them in the press. So what? What's your grief? You're not the government. You're a regional assembly. Uh, anyway, it led to them writing to the then Environment Secretary Theresa Coffey and Trade Minister Nigel Hudson to complain. They asked to be fully involved in relation to trading arrangements with the USA. And the answer came back, no. The letter, the letter said... We are writing to highlight the Scottish Government's serious concerns about recent media reports of the possibility of the UK Government negotiating a foundational trade partnership with the United States of America. But this is what the majority of people in Scotland want. That's why they voted to remain. The prospective arrangement reportedly covers topics such as digital trade, labour protections and agriculture. And both ministers said they would be extremely disappointed if the UK Government had been working on plans to deepen the trading relationship with the US without any indication, notification or involvement of Scottish ministers. Well, you're going to be very disappointed then, aren't you? Uh, but the Scottish Daily Express can reveal that Mr Huddleston replied back to this letter and laid out a number of meetings and correspondence 
which proved that Westminster did share the information with Holyrood over potential deals with America. He outlined that he wrote to Mr Lockhead on the 15th of June to provide an update on the Atlantic Declaration. So they're creating a grievance where none exists. Why aren't you involving us? We have. Yes, we know you have, but we don't like the fact that you have without making it look like we're important. Basically, he was writing a letter to say, look, this is what we're doing. He wasn't inviting them, but tough. It's not their place. He wrote, furthermore, I provide an update and reiterated benefits of the Atlantic Declaration and the Critical Minerals Agreement to the devolved administration's ministers at the Interministerial Group for Trade on the 7th of September. I don't know why he bothers. It's got nothing to do with them. If they want to have an involvement, they can send people to Westminster and then the likes of Flynn or Mary Black can get involved in the, in the, uh, uh, in the committees there, but they choose not to. And that's, that's not the UK government's fault, is it? Uh, in Aberdeen, key Scottish stakeholders, including the Scottish North American Business Council and your then Minister of Business, Trade, Tourism and Rep Enterprise, Ivan McKee, actually attended a series of roundtable discussions with US Trade Representative Catherine Tai and the then Secretary of State for International Trade, Anne-Marie Trevelyan, to identify further steps to move forward our important UK-US trade relationship. So they've actually had meetings with the Yanks at which SNP ministers were present. And then Gujan has come out and said, oh, it's not fair, you're not including us. What a load of shite. This is what happens. Nobody in the SNP knows what's going on because they're all buffoons. They don't write things down. They don't like having records. And this is what happens. Because if you write things down, the wrong kind of things may be recorded that could end up in court cases. So they don't tell anything. They keep they keep everything a secret. And then the likes of Mary Gujan come along, open her mouth and go, I'm a very stupid woman because I'm talking about things I don't know anything about. Rather than going, did anyone have a conversation about this? Because that's too easy, isn't it? So out comes the grievances. And then, uh, <laughs> then Huddleston comes back and says, shove it up your ass." You stupid woman. Oh, uh, well. He said, cooperation was further strengthened at this year's UK-US SME dialogue in California this month. Um, and blah, 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 blah. But he kept the reports. He kept telling them. Mr Huddleston then explained that his officials routinely engage with the Scottish government and that this happened as recently as October when the letter was sent. And he promised that the Scottish government will be engaged in line with constitutional expectations, political commitments and in the spirit of of collaboration which characterises our trade policy relations. He said, I remain committed to ensuring the department delivers both our constitutional blah, 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 load of old rubbish. So what he's saying is, Scotland was told, Scotland actually took part in negotiations with the Americans, and that her complaint that they weren't involved is basically down to her ignorance, her stupidity, and her grievances, and her anti-English rhetoric. She's a bigoted, hate-filled wank, isn't she? Oh, England, England, England. When actually what it should be is, I'm stupid, I'm stupid, I'm stupid. You were there. Not you personally, of course, but the SNP were. And if they're so secretive they can't tell you, the problem isn't Westminster. The problem is far closer to home, Mary. Suggest you go and talk to your colleagues before opening that big, ignorant, stupid mouth. Coming up. There is an old saying, isn't there? It is better to keep one's mouth shut and to be thought an idiot than to open one's mouth and have all doubt removed. And of course, this is what happens. And every time Mary Goodgen opens her mouth, she gets criticised and told that she's wrong. This is why the woman shouldn't be in any kind of power. She really doesn't know what she's talking about. Honestly, she makes Shona Robinson look like a towering intellect. And it's not the first time, and I suspect it won't be the last time, because they can't fire her, because otherwise, who have you got? Someone far worse, I suspect. Overpromoted. Promoted based on, I don't know, box ticking, I suppose. Can't be anything else. She certainly hasn't got the job on merit. Anyway, I shall finish there. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that's been um, amusing. Do please hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, leave a like, leave a comment. Please share the video. Till next time, stay safe, stay well, and I will speak to you later. Bye.